Kia ora tala falava, I'm Matt Brown, I'm the director of My Father's Barbers and we're here at the barber shop in, on Rickon Road in Christchurch and today I'd just like to welcome you guys, come check out my shop and um, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis with my clients. How do you, how do you find that um, around this season, busy season, you know, managing a shop and being a dad to four kids and... Yeah, I think you just got to chunk out the, um, chunk out the time for each of it. Yep. You know, like, I just always try and stay at work no later than I need to be and just try and get all my job done within the day. And that mean, usually means I've got to work smarter and that kind of thing. But then I know that I've got time with the kids when I get home. Mm. So I try and, you know, give each of them, I don't know, five to ten minutes of... Ollie likes to have a bit of a play rumble on the floor and mm. Soph likes me to read her some Tintin and so that kind of works out like that. Are you exhausted though? Like, how do you give so much... Of yourself. Um, I always make sure that every morning I go, I go for a run, have a prayer time, and just get myself sorted for the day at the start of the day. Yeah. And then at night time, I just I don't know. I suppose it is busy, but you've kind of just got to chill out because after the kids are in bed, you want to spend time with your wife as well. Mm. You know, because that relationship needs time. So, you know, when I have breaks at work, I'll go and just stand outside and look at the trees or look at the sky really you actually yeah. go outside and look at the trees yeah i need to i work inside i just don't see outside that much so you know wow. you need to just you know go out and be a little bit quieter I always try and go for a walk on my 10 minute break in my afternoon and just stretch your legs and try and draw at lunchtime to to you know zone out and feel good and yeah so your things of relaxing they bring on relaxation as nature and doing something like to drawing. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Exercise is real good too. I think the other thing is, you know, I used to come home and kind of put the TV on and, and numb out, but that only gives you a degree of relaxation. You know, I just try and go to bed early. You know, that's the main thing is just try and get in bed early enough so that you can do it all again tomorrow. Because as soon as you're grumpy, the whole day's out. You know, like your staff are, are feeling it, you know, because you're not responding as well and your family, they get it as well. You know, you're just not quite as nice to be around. So what time do you go to sleep? I aim for 10. <laughs> I aim for oh, 10 every night. I, have, I can't remember the last time I went to sleep at 10. But, but it usually ends up being 10, 30 or 11. Because yep. it's hard, you know, when you get in bed, it's hard not to pull out your device and, mm. and get lost in something like that. And so I try not to not to have the device here. I try and have a book or, or something like that. Yeah, that's something we've, in our household, we kind of made a rule, no devices in the room. Yeah, that's good. That's good for your marriage yeah. too. Big time. Yeah. Because that... Uh, no, <laughs> no. They always sneak in though, you know, because there's some kind of video and, and you know, you yeah. want to have your phone next to you just in case there's an emergency, you know, but then the text me message will go off and you go and look at it and you're just part of a group message and someone LOLing a comment from like two hours ago. Yeah. You know, but how, many, how often do you go to look, and, look at your phone and then you just get on an absolute bunny train and you're like, what am I... What did I even open my phone up for? How do you find the balance of work and life, and life and family time? Like as a manager of a massive store, yeah, like massive store. Then I think um, having four kids, yeah, and a lovely wife. Like, how do you yeah. manage that all? I think what it is is um, part of it's realizing the priority of it. Like I used to work in a company where there are heaps of guys in their fifties, and that all had been through a marriage breakup and. In their early 30s and even their 40s, they worked super hard, but they worked so hard that they lost their marriage, they didn't have any time with their kids. And you know, they go away with half the money, so you may as well have worked for half the money, not as hard, enjoyed your marriage and enjoyed your kids, and, mm. and here they are in their, their 50s just, you know, trying to kind of be the man and, and preserve well, what do you, it. What do you think we work so hard, men, in our culture? Well, I don't think there's a cap. There's a cap on it, you know, like, um, you know, with all the computers and all the programs and all the machines we've got, we should work less. Mm. But, you know, I think there's always more you can buy. Like, you always want a bigger house and you always want a better car and, you know, you always spend what you have and so you're always spending more. So I think, I so think that true. drives us. You know, like, at work, you generally don't get congratulated for working less. Oh, well done, you only worked a 40-hour week, you know. There's always, <laughs> you know, you get congratulated for working more. So I think in some ways, you know, we kind of respond to that as well. So for me, I just, I go, man, I just need to cap it. Um, like, we had one of our kids, uh, when we had our third kid, it was, it was harder for us and harder for my wife to cope. So I, I got to go home earlier, so I asked to go home earlier. And that half an hour made all the difference. Yep. And so we just kept that going. Um, 
and so I saw the wellness go on and also we have mums come in and they work they work four hours in their day that's all they can work um, you know with the kids and stuff but they pretty much get just as much done as some of the people working eight hours so I thought man you know I just need to be efficient with my time um, and that's great you know I've got bosses that that are happy for me to birth my family and you know don't feel like I'm doing the duty if I clock out at, at home time hmm yeah I also think um, your ident- identity plays a big part yeah like so many of us guys we think the more we have the more the harder we work or yeah you know all that jumbo um, totally makes us more successful but where I think if you're just knowing your identity, for me, yeah. is just realizing the people, the things that matter to me the most, are what is what makes me happy, which yeah. is my family, my kids, and like family time and totally. Um, yeah. Well, you know, you always want to give your kids an inheritance as well. You know, like you want to work real hard and give them an awesome life. Mm. And I think what we miss out on is we just kind of rate the value in terms of money. Mm. But you know, if you got to the end of your life and you'd only spent quality time with your kids and you hadn't given them the, lat- the latest flash of shoes or you didn't live in the biggest house or drive the flashiest car, but they had spent time with you, it's probably like the richest inheritance you could actually give them. Hard and out. so realizing that, I was like, man, well, you know, what, what am I working for here? You know, like, cause we're just in this driven society where, okay, I've got to find a partner, I've got to get married. Now I've got to have kids. And now that I've got the kids, you know, I've got to have a flash of car and you're just kind of on this treadmill. But if you stop and look at your little kid in the eye, look at that partner you fell in love with you realize that you've got you know what most people want mm. is is that connection those relationships and it's so tiring eh? when you it is tiring it's hard work hard work like i think um you know the more the more kids you have you just gotta you just become more efficient at managing your time or you just stop hanging out with them you know and and that's that's pretty sad mm. Totally agree. I think the awesome thing about hanging out with kids is it makes you more of a kid, you know? Like, no one wants to grow up too much. No. You know, everyone wants to have a great life, and, you know, kids, they can just enjoy that moment, and so we can learn so much from the kids. It's looking good, Matt. Thank you, brother. So it- Matt does the best fades, bar none. <laughs> bar none. Good to know, good to know.